All right, welcome to the next star profit pricer. And you're at the first tab here. There's an intro tab and there's several tabs down here at the bottom. You'll come all the way over to MP12 will be the last tab that you really use. Everything beyond that is not really meaningful for you right now. Uh, so your business coach, when you first start, your business coach is going to ask you to fill out MP6, MP71, MP72, MP73. Okay, and I'll take you through those tabs. So MP7, MP6, business coach can ask you to fill in your expenses. And the best practice here would be for you to print off your P&L, your profit and loss statement, your income statement, your financial statement, whatever you want to call it. And as you enter your information in here, you can see I pre populated this with 100,000 for owner salary. You want to cross it off your income statement. We want to make sure that we've captured all of your cost from your income statement. Now you may find that your income statement doesn't match what we call things. Okay. This is in an effort to make sure that everybody gets on the same page here at Nexstar, so that when you're talking to contractors, you're all talking about the same chart of account numbers. Okay, so we give you these chart of accounts descriptions. And then you can put in your own chart of account numbers in here and then the amount that you're going to use, you know, the prior year amount is what you're putting in here. Make sure that it's a 12 month period that you're putting in here as well. Okay, and then if you have sent things that just don't line up, we have some others in here. Okay, and that could be. So no big deal. Uh, then after that, if you get really ambitious, you can jump over here to MP81, and you can see that the prior year amount is in, and then here's where you would do an adjustment. You can see that I pre-populated it with a $50,000 adjustment for the owner, so his new budget is going to be $150,000. And you'll notice here that it, the taxes are already pre-populating. That's going to be another thing you need to do before you have your next meeting with your business coach is to make sure that this information here on the company setup tab is correct for you. Now the states, this FICA and Medicare, I believe are about the same, but each state may be a little different. Okay. And then put in your workers comp rate in here. All right. And let's see. So after that, you would then fill out, basically you're going to be filling out MP6 through MP84. And then schedule a call with your business coach just take you through the next step. Now, what you're going to need for that phone call with your business coach is you're going to come over here to the MP0 tab and you're going to need a list of all of your production employees, your service technicians and your lead installers, and a list of your helpers that go along with that as well if you have helpers. Okay? And from there, you guys should have a productive call. All right. Thank you very much.